Hello, my name is Jake Martin. Um, I'm 19 years old and uh, I go to the University of Auckland in New Zealand. And um, I'm here at JET because uh, at the European Union Competition for Young Scientists, I uh, won the Euroform Prize for a week's stay at the JET Fusion Experiment. All right, um, my experiment is about, um, is about carbon. And uh, firstly, I made a unit to make my house run off wood. So I turned the wood into a fuel gas that I could um, run into an internal combustion engine and make power for my house. Uh, I then, I then um, worked on the outputs of the unit, and one of them is, uh, is biochar, which you can put into the soil, and um, you can take uh, atmospheric CO2 out of the atmosphere by doing so, and uh, counter global warming. I also worked on the structure of that charcoal, uh, which is important to other carbons, um, such as the ones in, uh, in the jet, uh, uh, jet experiment. I wasn't really too sure what to expect um, coming to uh, the jet uh, fusion experiment. Uh, I'd, I'd done a little bit of research into uh, fusion reactors um, when I became interested in energy and, um, and replacing oil, um, but I, I really couldn't expect uh, the, the huge facility here uh, just as an ex just an experiment <laughs> in New Zealand, it's uh, almost unheard of to have uh, such large physics going on exp physics experiments. After after seeing the jet fusion experiment, I'm I'm really taken aback by the amount of engineering and the amount of technology and uh, and science that really goes in uh, goes on behind the scenes and. And uh, I can see a lot of challenging issues, but uh, the potential um, I can really see now is, 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 is really worth um, overcoming those challenges. Um, I met about uh, 10 scientists or engineers while I was uh, here for a week at the JET experiment, and um, I was really taken aback by the enthusiasm that all the, um, the scientists and engineers had for their work, and, um, and uh, I, I, I learned a lot from them. Um, and uh, and I got a lot of advice also for um, continuing on and actually becoming a, a researcher or an engineer um, to and a lot of help with my own work uh, which was really helpful and um, I had a really great chat to a plasma physicist that really made me rethink um, my own uh, studies and also uh, my own research. So, um, I was I was really amazed at at the cooperation and and all the collaboration between the different European countries and um, and I really don't see that in New Zealand being so isolated uh, uh, away from the rest of the world actually on the other side of the world and uh, and it really it's opened my eyes to see um, really what what what's available for me um, if I was to continue doing research and um, and science if I was to come to to Europe and um, do some research here so yeah. Really exciting. Um, no, there's definitely no fusion uh, reactors in New Zealand, uh, probably due to our size and also uh, because uh, we have so much um, renewable energy that we don't really need to uh, experiment too much. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, it's it's um, actually we've got a complete radiation uh, nuclear ban in uh, in New Zealand, which um, means that no boats can come in that are. Uh, radioactive and um, and also no um, no uranium can be shipped through our country so we're very much um, anti-fusion and fission uh, so I thought it was quite funny when they sent the New Zealand boy to <laughs> come to the uh, fusion reactor it's, um, it's a hot topic in New Zealand <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, New Zealand has always had a, a really strong connection with uh, with England, seeing as we were um, colonised by by England, and we're we are part of the Commonwealth as well as Australia and a few other countries. Um, uh, but we're not really um, governed by the Queen. Uh, we've got our own government, um, but we we are still proud of our heritage, and uh, we still get quite excited when uh, we hear the Queen's coming around.